The biggest change for this year is a new 7.0-inch lower touchscreen that Acura says is more responsive than the outgoing model, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. The MDX is still offered as a single model, with advanced or technology packages effectively acting as trim levels. All-wheel drive which Acura calls Super Handling All-Wheel Drive is available at every stop for $2,000 more. Last year, the MDX Sport Hybrid model was added to the lineup that adds standard all-wheel drive and a relatively unique electric motor setup that improves fuel economy and handling. Last year, those models added $1,500 to the bottom line when compared apples to apples with similarly equipped MPX SHAWD versions. It's a compelling value proposition, although Acura hasn't yet detailed pricing for that model in 2018. We'll report back when they do. Without extra batteries, the MDX makes 290 horsepower and is mated to a 9-speed automatic. Its ride is sublime, and its unique all-wheel drive system should be considered for cold-weather buyers. The MDX Sport Hybrid mates the same, but detuned engine to a pair of electric motors that power the rear wheels only. It's a clever system cribbed from Acura's NSX Supercurrent or LX hybrid model. We like all of the above, and place the MDX.